Well, good evening, everyone. We arrive. few problems there with uh, the line with the commentator so as we try and rectify that at the moment the players heading out onto the pitch uh, Rafa and emotional scenes there in the stadium but what fantastic support yeah amazing uh, Hans-Joachim Watzke the Dortmund CEO made a great point before the game saying that Monaco are not used to such crowds because at home of course they play in a very small stadium and even when they go to other stadiums in France no one's at this kind of level. So, of course, no Mark Barcher in that Dortmund uh, team this evening. He's uh, been on Instagram, though, to say he's feeling much better. He has had surgery on, on a broken wrist there. But how will that... You know, as, as silly as it might sound. And there is uh, the Monaco team coming up for you, missing their, their first choice fullbacks this evening, Martin. A real one, shame. One with appendicitis, one, one with injury, but such hugely important players for them. Definitely. Uh, Mende, has, I thought he'd been outstanding so far in the Champions League, but there's still enough uh, to quality in this. Moutinho in midfield. Oglick, but he can get on the ball. Lukas Piszczek. That's an intelligent pass. Obama Young, unable to hit the target. Very unlucky. Great pass. Waits to perfection just down the side. Lovely little ball, that's what Aubameyang wants, all right, he's on the angle. He's unlucky that he hasn't kept that down, he should be working the goalkeeper, truth be told. Very good run that from Aubameyang, trademark run. Air free versus equally nonchalant. You might describe this quarter-final tie in those terms. Toure, chance to play it in, and the header from Thomas Lamar. Well, he wasn't picked up. That well, was half a chance because he started the move. Lamar, again, he come out from a wider position, found himself in a tenth position, played a lovely little ball with the outside of his left foot, got in the box. Terrific cross, that's half a chance. Well, this is the scene here in Dortmund. Sports teacher wrote his thesis on corner kicks as they were executed at Euro 96. Now a chance perhaps here oh, for Monaco, yeah. and the penalty is given. Yellow card as well for Socrates. It's all happened in a blink of an eye, and a spot kick forthcoming. Well, that's the run Mbappe makes time and time again. Loves to run in behind centre-half. Socrates is asking the question. He didn't think it's a foul. He certainly didn't think it was a penalty. But he was super quick, and Mbappe making the run. You can just say they see that he's always struggling, Socrates. There is an arm around. I have to say, I think Mbappe's gone down a little bit too easy, and he's bought that penalty. But there was certainly contact from Socrates. Uh, Monaco have in Fabinho a pretty sure-footed penalty taker. That's normally the case. Roman Burki at the ready. The bows ring around the stadium as Fabinho misses! Oh, how big will that moment be in the grand scheme of things? Oh, there's a smile on his face, but he pulls the penalty big time left. It's poor execution. Roman Burke, you went the right way, credit the goalkeeper. But that's a poor penalty, you have to hit the target. Maybe he's trying to be too cute and trying to find the side netting, but that's a poor miss. Guides it in. And it comes to Ginter. Two days headed clearance, and now Bernardo Silva. And away he goes, scurrying forward. The Portuguese international went right the way through the middle. Lamar pulls it back and bundled over the line by Mbappe. Monaco strike first, and it's an away goal to boot. Sheer joy for the Monegasque fans. And Dortmund, you've got to say, carved open. They were carved open with Bernardo Silva. They took the ball on all the 20, 30 yards. He played a little ball out wide. It's quite fortunate. Lamar gets it on his left foot. Borderline offside. You have to say Mbappe looks offside. It's very fortunate how it's found its way in the back of the net. He looked a yard offside, in my opinion.
a lovely ball in from Lamar, you have to say. And Mbappe scrambles it over the line, doesn't really know too much about it technique-wise. But for Dortmund to be 18 off mind at this stage, it's nowhere near good enough. And Kagawa, that was a fine pass. Ginter up against Raji. Matthias Ginter, oh, and it was struck wide on the target from the goal, gaping at Kagawa. Massive chance. That's the switch of play I'm talking about. You get it to Ginter's feet, Schmelzer on the other side. He's got Raji exactly where he wants him. He doesn't panic. Plays a lovely little ball, and you expect Kagawa to finish that. That's not a hard skill to find the target. Super ball from Ginter. And a bad miss out from Shinji Kagawa. He's better than that. Guerrero on the wide position, Dortmund. The lead by Obama Yang. Here is Ginter. He's checked. Oh, it's worked its way to Dembele offside, though. The flag was up. It went up swiftly, too. Yeah, good spot, that, I think, from the linesman. It would have been fortunate if that had found its way to Dembele's feet. It was very borderline, isn't it? I think he's just made the right decision, you know. Crowd were asking for a penalty moment. Certainly over the last five or ten minutes, they're sharpened the play up. Here is Raji. Expect him to venture forward too often in open play. Oh, it oh. was a fantastic ball, and Sven Bender has nodded the ball into his own net. It's all going to plan for Monaco. Purke beaten, and Dortmund all over the place. Well, Raji, the architect, and an own goal by Sven Bender, who's in the side for the first time since December. Oh, well, we he said when they work it wide. Monaco, they put crosses in the box. And Raji puts a delicious cross in the box. There's no contact. He's asking for a foul. Sven Bender. There's not one there. Falcao's in behind him. And he panics the centre half. If he's going to do anything there, he's got to go height and distance. That's a big goal to concede. 2 0 down just before half time. Great cross from Raji, you have to say. Put it in a dangerous area. And the centre half's always scrambling. He's always in panic mode. Huge goal for Monaco. In. Dembele, Obama Yang, Guerrero. Take your pick. Right in front of the yellow wall. And it was Dembele who stepped up. Not to be. No, you can see the execution that Dembele was going for. He was just trying to whip it outside the wall and bring it back. Just to the left-hand side of the wall, just started it too far wide. There's a little gap there. You see Subasic just going away to his right-hand side. Roman Burki ended up being an excellent pass. Pulisic, Shaheen, the two substitutes working together. Pulisic takes off against Raji. Quick. Last line of defence for Monaco. Oh, brilliant from Pulisic, though. Lovely little ball down the side. And once he's away, as we said, Raji defending, it's not his forte. Just switched off slightly and Pulisic was in. Here they come again, Dortmund in there by Guerrero. Once again, it was Camille Quick. Spent most of his career in Italian football. Weigler. Pulisic. Be a real handful for opposing defenders, Christian Pulisic, and here's Dembele, foiled by Jemerson. But Dortmund are certainly knocking on the door in the early phase of this second half. Shaheen, slip was by Fabinho. Here's Rafael Guerrero, and Aubameyang, Kagawa! Dembele from close range, and Borussia Dortmund are back at the tie. We felt it coming. Up tempo start to the second half from the Schwarzgelben. Ah, oh, they've been excellent, Dortmund. They really have. They're trying to work it out to the right hand side, and the pass is not on. They come wide to Guerrero, who puts a lovely cross in the box. How about that touch, by the way, from Abamian to find Kagawa, who puts it on a plate from Dembele, who's not missing from there. Fantastic team goal, it really is. An unbelievable touch, by the way, from Abamian if he's meant that. And from Campinas, Sao Paulo State in Brazil. 
the bar with Falcao beyond him. Oh, oh, it was an opportunity for Radamel Falcao, and my goodness, he knows it. Big chance, huge chance, because he does the right thing. Lamar's got the ball at his feet, lovely little ball in behind, does the right... And you know Falcao, nine times out of ten, hits the target. The super little clip pass into the front man's feet. Good weighted touch and a poor miss. I say poor miss, it's a hard skill. Left, BT Sport 2 for that, and you can see the second leg of this tie from the Stade Louis doing next week. Oh, what a chance as it opens up now for Monaco. Dispatch with a plum. Mbappe. Well, it goes down as an individual mistake. Rukash Piszczek won't remember that moment fondly. They are delirious. Those wearing red and white. 3-1. Oh, it's a breakaway goal that's come from nowhere. They're just trying to keep the ball. You can't play a square pass. All of a sudden, Mbappe's on it. He's one-on-one -on -one with Berkey. He sits him down really well. It's a super finish from the youngster. But it's a poor ball from Piszczek. Just gives Socrates no chance there, really. He couldn't have spotted Mbappe being there. But how calm is that from the youngster? Great placement, straight into the top corner. Roman Burke, has got no chance of saving that. The killer for Dortmund whips it into the top corner. He's aiming for the post with a little bit of curl. Look at that. Executed to perfection. The Pulisic. Weigel, Shaheen, got to keep working it wide, got to shift it wide to pull the six feet. Kagawa, shooting position, 3-2, Shinji Kagawa. Well, it's all about the touch from Kagawa, because it's world class, but this is not an easy ball to control. Ball comes in from the right side from Shaheen, unbelievable touch, then he sits Jemison down. Suricic got no chance of saving that. It was great footwork from Kagawa. Another brilliant goal, you have to say. So a really good goal that from Dortmund. Very calm in front of goal, Kagawa.